was supposed to be a wolf, I painted my dog, I used my dog as a, a model, and it, it ended up not like a wolf, but exactly like my hunterway dog. That's the way it goes. I, I was better than I thought I was at getting a, something I wasn't trying for. Faces like that, like see that face there, the red shaman with the blue dot. He's like a big pope. And that face down there. I did that, I remember doing that face. Just very, very subtle. And the red shaman. He goes right, his dress goes all the way down like the pope. What's that white there? Bird shit. I, I can only see art through my own eyes and what, and what I am. So I'm art. And I do things and that, whatever I do is on, and whatever I, anybody does is on, just life is on. Judges ourselves, isn't it? Susan said about when, when, do you, when do you work best, I said all the time, but no time. And this is how it is. Look at how long this has been hanging around, 2006. Jeez, six years. I think a lot of the myths, like you can work in best in the evening or best in the morning, you, you become, you, you can challenge yourself always throughout life and say, hang on a minute. Renoir said he loved the mornings a lot. Or, you know, oh, the morning's great. You've got the whole day to go. Thick night hand says, you wake up in the morning, you've got the whole day to go. Try that. <laughs> Daddy love me reckless, 
Everything's reaching up in nature. Where everything is reaching upwards towards the stars. Try something you thought you never could do, and you can do it. Be surprised. Look at that, observe things. A lot of people miss stuff in paintings. Yeah. Vincent van Gogh, you look at for hours and hours and keep, you know, keep enjoying them. This painting here, I left the whole center stage to my daughter, who was eight years old at the time. There's a date, 1998. Um, this is an atlas moth, the largest known moth in the world, I think. There's a rook's head. Tourneal, hair. Okay, hair, you know that. Raven, horse. Any other animals? That's an Atlas beetle somewhere in there. Atlas or Hercules? One of those two guys. I'm not sure. You have to look it up. One of those two guys. These are bees. So I left at the whole center stage between the owl and the horse. I said, I'm going out of the room now. I'm just going to put a mark here and a mark here with you paint in this area. That's all yours, just this area. Don't go anywhere, don't go outside this area. That's it, where the sun shines, okay? So I go out of the room for about an hour, I come back. I say, oh, that's brilliant. She said, oh, the tail's too long on a short. And I said, no, 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 that's a hair. That's, um, that's a one, one, one mark, leave it. Oh, you see, oh, the little girl is feeding the hair some seeds. Oh, it's beautiful, darling, beautiful. I love it. What the hell's this? I didn't ask you to put that there. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I said. Oh, it makes the picture. So I added all that. And it actually makes the picture. Children know more than us. I said, what the hell? It's a garden here. I said, only to there. Oh, but it's a beautiful garden. That's it. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing I want to do sometime. Is stitch this book up with some organic twine. So all my black and white. So they're not in sequence of years. They're out of sequence, but I couldn't I couldn't get into that. And a lot of them aren't dated anyway, so self-portraits, a totem pole of my life there. Statue of Liberty see. It's never a waste of time to study colour I'm not all from all the great painters that, you know, the ones you like, the one you particularly are fond of. Study them, the way they mix colour, Delacroix, Vincent van Gogh, Monet, all those people. Study how they, how, what they do with the colour. My axiom is, you never regret a swim. Rocky River, take it easy on my ass. Whoa! <laughs> Free! Freedom. Hey, I never could float, except when I'm on a rock. A rock is not always a bad place to be. Change yourself and then and act as you talk, and then you and then you'll be followed. You don't have to go and talk to anybody, convince anybody. You don't have to read anything. To, so just live it, live it. Even if you're alone in the hills, that's why these people do it. They stay alone in the hills. People know they're there. Thus spoke, thus spake Zarathustra.
that thing. Mm -hmm. They know they're there. And they know how they're living. And those people aren't, can't be challenged about anything because they, are, they, aren't hip, they aren't living as hypocrites. They aren't denying anything. They're trying to work it out. That's why people do it, I believe. This is Yin Yang, only in Rooks. This is a self-portrait of me when I was 18. I did it on a checkbook for Susie. I still got the checkbook, back cover. Unnatural, I have to work on it. All those paintings that got mauled in the cottage, just uh, you let them go because you're, that's, process of learning the paint anyway, mixing colors, so you just let it go that way, you gotta, because there's a lot of advantage to, to living here. That's the tiger under the bed, the fear, nightmares after being burnt as a little boy. Homage. Most of this, all of it, just about, is just really. So this is the piece in the Middle East one. Mm -hmm. That represents all the parties. Pick, take a pick, you know. Mm -hmm. They're interchangeable. Look at the war metaphor and war expressions. We have bloody no, a game of bloody nose. The, it's, all, it's all war metaphor and the cozy names for the things that kill and then the drones that go on and on and on. Oh, but war, I condone it. All, people are everywhere buying into the war thing. That their talk subconsciously, unintentionally, unintentionally is, is aggressive. And I've been there and I've talked like that with that and then I start to look at myself and I don't like myself. When you when you share things with people that's what life's about isn't it? Sharing, giving.
Everybody should paint. The world leaders should get together and paint naked. Paint each other naked. Composition, color, mood, and judge it by its own self. I don't. I, I think. I think this is true. I mean, I could have just made that up. The truth doesn't need any, it's been said lots of times, doesn't need any adjectives to describe it. It just is. Ishness. It's just there. And the truth shouldn't be um, saw as uh, in any way uh, weak or defense or anything. It just is. And people talk about the truth and then. Uh, nowadays, you hear on the radio and, and in the media and everything uh, that it's okay to lie, the little lies and the oh, it's okay to lie. But if we seek the truth, when then it's the truth about everything, isn't it? If we can talk about everything, that's that's where it's uh, that's where it's at. Ravens call. Did you get the ravens? I'd rather, I'd rather put them on a bonfire. Start again. Bonfire of vanities. There's too much ego involved in all this stuff. Well, Vincent van Gogh didn't get anything for his. Nothing. He's a great teacher. Yeah, he gave them, to, they were his babies, he gave them to the world. Nothing makes nothing forever If you never try Keep your head held high Your eyes open wide If you got some sense You grab your money Midnight train ride morning meet her on a morning tide a poet an artist and he didn't he did it as if he didn't care he saw before the roosters call even die cold wind smoke white blankets cross your back Tap up on the train, take a ride down the railway track. Those were the days. I vow to live simply and sanely, content with just a few possessions, and to keep my body healthy. I vow to let go of all worries and anxiety in order to be light and free. <laughs> Not like me with all this stuff around. <laughs> wild horses in a herd, wild dogs in their path. When you look them in the eye, game they play. They all act different when you turn your back. People just the same, I'm bound to say.
say 